My Capricorn, welcome back. So Capricorn, this is going to be your spiritual tarot reading and we're going to go ahead and get started. Before I get into the cards, I do want to talk about some of the messages I got uh, for the collective Capricorn energy when I was meditating. Um, this might serve as validation for some of you, but of course it's a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But when I was sitting in the meditation, Capricorn, I saw an ostrich, uh, oddly enough, and um, I heard stick your head in the sand. Some of you want to be like an ostrich or maybe stick your head in the sand <laughs> or <laughs> become oblivious to something, okay? Also, I saw a bear. Uh, that could be significant to you, uh, or look up the spiritual meaning of bears. I'm not really sure. And then I heard two different songs. First, I heard, hold up, wait. Hey. Okay, I think that's Dr. Dre. Hold up, wait. And um, then I got um, salt and pepper. <laughs> salt and pepper. Ooh, baby, baby. Um, so kind of old school songs right there. Those songs could be validation. You could be hearing them in the grocery store or on your social media that may serve as signs for you, or maybe it's not for you. It'll be different for each of you. It's a general reading, but symbolically what I felt with that is like, you know, there's something here that maybe you're not wanting to see the truth of, um, you know, maybe something that, you would just rather stick in your head in the sand about, and yet at the same time, it's enticing to you. It's like, um, you know, driving past something that you don't want to see on the highway, but then you can't look away, you know? It's almost like that type of energy, right? Um, I heard ignorance is bliss, okay? So really interesting. Let's get into the cards and see where this is headed. Then you have the Ascendant here. And the Nine of Swords, so that is stick your head in the sand type of energy right there. But um, this is all about your outlook, your worldview, your mission statement, uh, what you feel your purpose is, um, what you feel your role is in this life, what role are you playing, okay? It's also talking about your attitude. And some of you, there's some sort of stress surrounding um, a situation here, or it's like the way that you're looking at something is not from the viewpoint that source is seeing it from so i feel like now the message is coming through a little bit clearer where it's like capricorn you um might not be seeing things from the higher perspective that source is seeing it from and that's kind of like sticking your head in the sand almost it's like not being aware some of you not wanting to be aware of your part in something or the role that you're playing, really interesting, okay? The role that you have played in something, okay? So some sort of message coming through about that and it's creating stress in the environment and it's like, hold up, wait. Um, uh, sorry, <laughs> I got distracted there. Okay, now I have what a man playing in my head. Hold up, wait. It's actually a lyric by Salt and Peppa. Um, interesting. What a man, what a woman. I don't know. Maybe check out that song. Either way, it's like, sorry, that took me off guard. Um, and, you know, I don't believe in coincidences. Maybe something is taking you off guard as well. But it's like you're seeing a situation through the eyes of stress as opposed to, like, clarity. And... Um, it's really affecting you, and it's also affecting maybe how you see yourself or life in general, okay? I'm also feeling like some shooting pains towards my gut um, in the sacral chakra area, so um, might benefit you to do some um, chakra cleansing. Also, don't ignore your gut feelings because I feel like some of you are getting like intuitive hits and it's coming through like a gut reaction all right so i got a guidance card out but i'm gonna wait to the end to flip it over and read it um and we're gonna go into the headspace now and look at what's going on in the thought process then we're gonna go into the emotional space and see what's going on there and then into the bigger spiritual picture 
I'm getting like shooting pains. It's kind of like I said in the um, sacral region. Um, so I don't know what that's about. So I don't know, like you need a stretch or something. I don't know why I'm getting that. But again, there's that message here about gut reactions. So you have the sun here, the nine of pentacles. Whew, that card flew out. The tower and justice. All right. So Capricorn, I keep wanting to adjust my body as well. It almost feels like I have so much energy running through me that I want to sway like this. I don't know if some of you are dancers or you're going to like, you like music or a music event or something. <laughs> or maybe you're one of my tapped in, tuned in uh, Capricorns and you're literally feeling like the energy come through the crown chakra. Um, also, when I meditate, if I'm having physical pain in my body, I'll notice that I'll start moving. Um, as I get deeper into the meditation, is sometimes spirit will come in and kind of move things around in your physical apparatus to allow for healing or for to energy to come in. So um, I, that could benefit you as well, especially if you're having blockages in any of the chakras, to sit in a deep meditation and uh, invite source energy to kind of flow through you. And you'll notice your body uh, will we'll kind of move just slightly, okay? Um, so pay attention to that, all right? So that's for my highly intuitive and connected Capricorns. Um, cause that's, a more, that's more of an evolved uh, gift to be able to move energy around. Some of you might be energy workers, light workers, in the Reiki, looking into that, could benefit from that, something like that. Um, either way, Let's look at the thought space. So the sun, the nine of pentacles, the tower, and justice. So first of all, there's something here coming through that is really giving you some inspired thoughts to kind of reach higher than you've ever um, reached before. And I'm getting a song, Higher Love. Um, I don't remember the name of the artist, but Higher Love coming through for my Capricorns. This is like feeling energized again, being optimistic, looking for things in your environment that satisfy you, reaching for goals that you have for yourself. Um, there could be some changes going on as well within some relationship structures right now. Um, but most importantly, with the relationship that you're having with yourself in that you're allowing yourself to kind of do your own thing more and to feel good about it. Not just do your own thing, but like enjoy it. Enjoy doing whatever this is that you're being called towards and, and giving you some sort of sense of more self-sufficiency and like things flowing in a lot easier to you and it, it feeling a sense of connectivity here. And it's like, yes, there's the tower, but this is good change. Um, because I have a song coming in and this came in for another Zodiac sign, but I cannot remember who it was. A change will do you good. I mean change. Do you good? Um, it's be, it's bringing more peace of mind as well as allowing you to see things from two different perspectives. Um, it's like looking at your life and being able to see it from the ego perspective, but also being able to see it from the higher self perspective. Okay, in that you're seeing how things are kind of working out for you or that's what you're being guided to. Now, some of you are still allowing stressful thoughts to block you um, from achieving this, but I heard achieving nirvana. Um, but I feel that energy is kind of clearing out where you're noticing that, you know what, when I think about it that way, that doesn't make me feel good. When I stress over things, that doesn't change any outcomes. That just makes me feel miserable. And and getting ahead of those thoughts, Capricorn, is not only changing your outlook on life, but it's changing your experience. You know, so it's like the power of thought is so profound, right? So um, let's look at the emotional space. <clears throat> And see what we have going on there. 
Eight of Wands, the Strength card. Ooh, look at all these major arcana, Death and Ten of Cups, Leo Scorpio energy here for some of you. Um, wow, wow, emotional transformation indeed. Oh my gosh, this is like things coming naturally to you because you're in that space, feeling stronger than ever, you know, feeling solid in your connection with yourself or maybe within other relationships or a specific relationship, like allowing things to come to you naturally. And it's really transforming who you are. You know, this is a major change, major shifts in how you feel about life and love and relationships. Um, and it's changing your outlook as well on the role that you play in relationships based on how you feel about yourself, you know, because we call in to us the relationships that more, that most closely match the relationship that we have going on internally with ourself. And it's like some of you getting into this more positive mind frame and seeing things in a whole new light is helping to attract that out of others. And so for some of you, there's some good news coming in. There is a sense of feeling connected with the relationships around you. There is a boost in confidence that's kind of changing your outlook um, on a situation. And that's everything. It's everything. I'm just like so excited for this Capricorn reading. <laughs> I see I did Sagittarius, loved it. Some of you could be connecting with the Sag, it kind of reminds me of that reading. Then I just did a uh, Virgo, also a beautiful reading, and now you Capricorn. So it's like the holy trine there, Capricorn, Virgo, Sag, for some reason. Um, that card flipped, but I wasn't ready for it. So let's look at the higher spiritual picture. The Ace of Cups, of course. The Four of Wands. Oh. We change, we the Knight of Swords, the Fool, and the Ten of Wands. So, ooh, my nose is itchy. Um, I'm getting chills. Like, literally, I'm getting goosebumps. I don't know what that means, but take it or leave it. So, there is definitely love here okay and it's kind of flowing in through your relationship with yourself yes but also relationships with others all right finding more connectivity in relationships um, loving yourself a little bit more being more open to look at life through loving eyes and therefore see others in loving eyes and um, and yet here is some of you want to escape and just risk it all but I don't mean like escape a miserable situation. I mean like uh, I got the song Escapade in Taurus's reading. And now they're giving me that song again. So if you have that in your chart, maybe check it out as well. Um, and maybe check out that song because now that song is playing in the back of my mind. It's the part where she says, and I'll, I'll show you such a good time. So come on, baby, let's get away. I want to take you on an escapade. Um, there is also a couple cards here of communication. So there might be a lot of communication or you just might be in a very talkative type of energy, Capricorn, which I would say is can be unusual. <laughs> well, it depends where your other birth placements are, but um, it's like good conversation though. You know what I'm saying? Meaningful conversation. And if it's not a conversation with others, I heard conversations with God. That's actually a book that I'm reading right now. And I have Capricorn in my chart. Maybe check out that book. Neil Donald Walsh is the author, but but literally, I mean, literally having conversations with your higher self, especially for my intuitive Capricorns, 
literally having that type of connection, okay, or connecting with people that that get it, they get you, you know what I'm saying, and it's refreshing, right, um, because maybe things have felt burdensome, some of you might actually be traveling, moving, packing up, things like that, um, what? Heard pack your knapsack. What is a knapsack? Is that like a sleeping bag or something? I don't know. Take it or leave it. That's so specific. That's not gonna be for all of you. But it in a general sense, this is like being ready for your next adventure, okay? Not shying away from uh, difficulties, but rather embracing them as opportunities to kind of like test out your skills or to find out new things about yourself. It's changing your mind. They say change your mind, you change your life. This reading is so clear. I know it'll be shorter than the others, but I don't want to clarify it because it's simply the best. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. You have the outsider here. I'm going to get a few more, then I'm going to read the guidance card. The outsider healing. Ooh. And the uh, moment to moment. So, some of you are healing issues around abandonment or feeling like the outsider, the outcast, the black sheep, or you could be connecting with someone like this, but I feel this is your energy. It's like, uh, if you've always seen yourself that way, it's like changing your outlook on the way that you see yourself, okay, Capricorn, and, and reframing it in your mind as, not you're not the outsider, you're uniquely you, and that's beautiful. And then take it moment to moment is the guidance, um, not to get too far ahead of yourself, not to think too far ahead of yourself, but to kind of enjoy the moment while you're in the moment. And then let's see what the guidance is. It says soul power. Always remember you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. This is reminding you, Capricorn, that the power, empowerment, comes from within, and it's all in how you see things, and most importantly, how you feel. I love this. <laughs> so, yes, wow, Capricorn, very interesting reading. I'm going to leave it there for now. This uh, it could be dealing with Aries, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra. I also felt Taurus and Virgo references. If you have that in your chart, check out their readings. And Aries over here, if I didn't say, say it. But take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It's a general reading. If it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, you could find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff as I do go live there as well. I have um, lots of different videos and stuff over there. So both are called Tarot Time with Dana. Both are linked in the description box below. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can go to the About section and click on the donation link. Um, otherwise, I'm going to leave it there. Wishing you the very best, Capricorn. And until next time, my friends.